like to thank the Regal Cinema for giving us the opportunity to speak before the movie this afternoon. Thank you. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our special guest. It's all good. Okay. Named one of the three most important women of the year by Ms. Ma Ms. Magazine in 1997, she was an inaugural recipient of the Eleanor Roosevelt Award for Human Rights from President Bill Clinton in 1998. That same year, Ladies Home Journal recognized her as one of the 100 most important women of the 20th century. Along with such women yeah, leaders as Mother Teresa, oh, Margaret can't. Thatcher, yeah. Rosa Parks, and Indira Gandhi. Yeah, she was awarded the Puffin Nation Prize for Creative Citizenship in 2002. She received an honorary degree from at. Princeton University in recognition of her numer numerous achievements in May 2006. She was lauded in the ceremony for her insatiable hunger for justice, La Causa, and her tireless advocacy. She has devoted her life to creative, compassionate, and committed citizenship. She was co-recipient of the 2007 Community of Christ International Peace Award. She was recognized by the United Neighborhood Centers of America in its highest individual honor, the Jane Addams Distinguished Leadership Award at the National Policy Summit in Washington, D.C. in December 2008. She was awarded the UCLA Medal, UCLA's highest honor, during the UCLA College of Letters and Science Commencement Ceremony of June 12, 2009. In October 2010, she was awarded an honorary degree by Mills College, who lauded her a lifetime champion of social justice, whose courageous leadership garnered unprecedented national support from farm workers, women, and underserved communities in a landmark quest for human and civil rights. The same month, she was also awarded an honorary doc doctorate at University of the Pacific, who also unveiled an official portrait of her for the Architects of Peace Project by artist Michael Calabi. She received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama on May 29, 2012. Four elementary schools in California one school in Fort Worth, Texas, and a high school in Pueblo, Colorado are named after her. One of the student centers at Pittsburgh College in Claremont is named after her. In 2013, she received the award for greatest public service benefiting the disadvantaged, an award given out annually by the Jefferson Awards. Today, she is portrayed by actor-activist Rosario Dawson in the movie Cesar Chavez and American Hero. to you, locally raised, locally educated, a graduate from Stockton High and Stockton College, my aunt Dolores Puerta. that we had to overcome to get the basic human um, 
benefits for farm workers like toilets in the fields, like cold drinking water, rest periods, the right to organize, unemployment insurance, uh, things that we have in California that workers throughout the United States to this day do not have. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that's left out. It's, you know, they can only put so much into an hour and a half. Uh, one of the things that's left out, uh, of course, is that Sasson and myself, because of uh, start going back to the community service organization, all of us remember Jose Gloria, and uh, his daughter Mercy is here with us right now today. Uh, all of the work that was done here to get people to register to vote, uh, to vote to, be, to get good people elected to office. That is not in the film, but you all know that that's important, right? Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, you know, the birthday, and we're reminding people that this is, uh, we only have a few days. If you, if you know someone in your family, in your neighborhood that has not signed up for Obamacare, you got to do it now, right? Yes. So what right. Said, right. Yeah. Right. We have population that has not signed up, especially the young people. Uh, so you got to go. You can't. It's not like auto insurance. You can't wait till you buy the car. Oh, yeah. you, you know, then you buy you buy your insurance. This way, you can't wait till you get sick. You got to have, have to have it ahead of time. Okay. Yeah. Time to yeah. do a little commercial out there. And uh, so I hope you enjoy the film. Another thing I just want to uh, kind of tell everybody, remind everybody, because in the film you will see Cesar saying se puede. Just to remind everybody, I'm the one who came up with se puede. I have my own foundation, the Dolores Foundation. We're still doing the same kind of grassroots organizing. Uh, the Cesar and I did the Start the Union, and the same kind of organizing that we did way back in, in the CSO days. And someday on my bucket list, I'm hoping I can come back to Stockton and do the same thing that we're doing down there uh, in the Southern uh, Kirk County, organizing people uh, to make sure that our kids like to be from school, you know, that we get people on our school boards, that we get good people like Michael Tubbs. I know Michael Tubbs is here. All right. <laughs> San Joaquin, located at 338 East Market Street. So if you want to come by, we can talk some more. So again, we'll tell you like that. On tomorrow morning, there's going to be a march. Oh, uh, Begin at 11 o'clock at Fathers and Families in the Mexican Cultural Center, or the Heritage Center. Uh, that'll be the walk tomorrow, starting there and ending up at the, the Brasado Monument, the City Hall. Um, Moses Sepian, one of our council members, will be there. And, um, Diane, you'll be with us, I think, there. We're so grateful you're here tonight, so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the city of Stockton, all the residents, and of course the city council, we just took a, a straw poll, and we're very excited to announce that tomorrow, during the walk on the steps of City Hall footsteps, we are going to give Dolores one of the most important women leaders in our country. We're going to give her the key to the city tomorrow. So we're going to and uh, we really appreciate you, you being here. It means so much to us. Thank you so much. Enjoy the movie, everybody. <laughs>